Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the e-commerce projects using Django. In this one, we'll get started working with coupon. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learn something new. Consider dropping a like and also subscribing to the channel as one of them might come in handy for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor and you could close up all this now. And then what I want to do right now is open up the store again and just down here i will create a new function called coupon apply and i'm gonna pass in requests parameter and also the order id okay so after you have done this let's go ahead and fetch the order id the orders and also the other items okay so in a try catch starts with the order by saying store models dot order dots objects dots get where order underscore id is equal to order id very good now using this order let's fetch all the other items so we just need to say store underscore model dots order item dots objects dots filter by order should be order so what if any of this does not exist or maybe an issue occurred let's go ahead and return a message rather let's return a message of store models dot order dot does not exist then i want to return redirect to store cart which means order does not exist so there's no need to continue with coupon application that means a user is trying to manipulatively add or apply a coupon so after you've done this check if requests dot method is equal to post then if request dot method is equal to post grab the coupon code from the input by saying coupon code variable should be equal to requests dot post dot get and what do we want to get we want to get coupon underscore code very good and after this you want to check if not coupon code then messages dot error which means coupon code does not exist let's say no coupon entered not coupon code does not exist this one means that a user did not actually type in any coupon code in the input okay so after you've entered that and please make sure that you always return them back to the cart or rather the checkouts this time around the checkouts okay so return back to checkouts and make sure to pass in order dot order id very good so the next thing i would want to check is um let's fetch coupon so over here if coupon was not typed in and the user is clicking on the button we tell them hey type in the coupon you didn't enter anything but if they enter the coupon let's go ahead and fetch that coupon by saying coupon should be equal to store models dot coupon dot objects dot get where code is equal to the coupon code very good and after this if for any reason that coupon does not exist let's return a store models dot coupon dot does not exist error and we we just want to show a messages dot error just like this and what do we want to say you could say coupon does not exist coupon does not exist very good and also return back to to the checkout okay okay that's it so after you've done that go ahead and check if this particular coupon has already been applied which means if this coupon is in the order dot coupons dot all which means a coupon has already been applied right what do we want to do we want to re let's return an error message and also return them back to the checkout so in case you don't know all these things they were doing are basically error hand handling and validation so what we want to say over here is coupon already activated and then we return back to the store checkout very good so what if coupon wasn't applied that should be in the x else statement so in the s statements so in the else statements what we just want to do is define a total discount and set this to zero and based on the fact that 
each vendor creates their own coupon which means that when a user adds a coupon let's go through their order items and check if that particular coupon is related to any vendor's products which they have added to their carts that is only when we actually want to give them a discount so imagine that we've got two users on our platform destiny and sam and a user went on to buy destiny's item and they tried adding Sam's coupon code when they didn't buy anything from Sam and they were expecting to actually get a, a reduction or a discount. That is not going to work because Sam created the coupon code and gave it to them. So Sam's item needs to be in the in the cart or in the order for it to actually work. And in fact, when we are giving discounts, we only give discounts for that particular order, which means this application will be possible to ac accept stacked coupon. Stacked coupon is basically um, where a user or a customer can apply more than one coupon from different or orders or from, di from different vendors rather. So destiny might actually give this customer a coupon named desfix and sam give this customer a coupon named jumbo 2025 or 2026 so this user can go ahead and apply these two coupons on the on a particular order and we give them discounts okay so what we want to do over here is check for item in other items what do we want to do let's check if coupon dot vendor if coupon dot vendor is equal equal to item dot product dot vendor and if coupon not in item if coupon not in item dot coupon dot all what do we want to do so let me explain this so what we are checking is if this particular coupon that the user has entered in the checkbox if that particular coupon belongs to the vendor which we are at their iteration object right now in the for loop and coupon actually exists and okay not coupon exists and coupon is not in item.coupon.all so this over here is like a safety measure that we use as soon as we apply a coupon we immediately save that coupon that we applied to that order we attach it and relate it to that particular order so that a user does not activate that coupon more than once now in the future all we just need to do is check if that coupon already exists in that order which means it has been applied but if that coupon does not exist which means it hasn't been applied then we we'll go ahead and reapply it i hope that makes sense so if all these checks actually goes through what we just need to check is say okay we're not checking for anything again just update the item discounts with the actual discounts so we just need to say item discount should be equal to item dot total multiplied by coupon dot discount divided by 100 so this is going to give us the item particular discounts okay now we also need the total discount should be plus equals item discount very good so what this is going to do is just like i said that we will stack up we're going to stack up coupons okay so we've got multiple coupons from a particular vendor we stack up all their total discount over here and remove that from the order total don't worry you'll see how this works so after we've done this let's go ahead and update the items say item dot coupon item dot coupon dot add so now we are adding this particular coupon to the items which means this coupon has been applied then we say item dot total should be minus equals should be minus whoops minus equals item discount very good and also item dot saved should be plus equals mm, i think something is okay item discounts which is this one over here so we remove the discounts from the total and add it to the saved very good very perfect so when you have done that that is everything that we want to do and also for the subtotal okay let's leave out the subtotal for now just save this okay i don't want to create a complex system over here that will require a lot of query let's just leave it at that then get out of the loop get out of the loop just like that and apply total discounts to the order after we have processed all individual items so we just need to check if 
total discount is still greater than zero so if it's greater than zero we just need to say order dot coupons dot add that particular coupon and then you need to say order dot total should be equal to minus equals total discount and you also need to say order dot sub underscore total should be minus equals i think i had an issue over here order dot total should be minus equals total discounts same goes for this total discounts order dot saved should be plus equals total discounts very good then go ahead and save the order so we save the order very good and break out of this all the way to the starting of the function hmm. please break out of this again get back here very good so when you were there um let me do that in here while method is still post so in here just below this line one one step back after the for loop okay so what you want to do then is go ahead and say messages dot success and we will pass in coupon activated okay then you could go ahead and return back to the checkout yeah i think that's the best thing to do for now return back to the checkout so when you have done this let's go ahead and create the coupon apply url so i will open up views rather urls py and create a new one called coupon apply same for this same for this and yeah it's called other id so please make sure that you're retaining other id over here okay so when you have done all this that's everything that i want to do go ahead and open up the checkout page again look for the coupon section and i guess this is it over here so over here for the coupons section what i just want to do is change this div here to a form okay and you want to give it a method of posts and you could also give it a action no do we no okay hold on yes of course we do because this wasn't the coupon apply wasn't created in the checkout it's an external function so please add an action over here url and store should be coupon apply order dot order underscore id very good so when you have done this that's everything that we want this should be called code also it should have a name of code okay and rather the name should be coupon code that's what we called it in the in the server okay coupon code and without that this should be a button that has a type of submit without an without this href so remove the href and um i think everything looks good just add a csrf token very good so now let's reload this to test out again reload this particular one and you can enter a coupon let me enter a coupon that doesn't exist and hit this see coupon does not exist very good but why isn't it showing up in its you know in its air oh that is because open up your settings py and we need to add let me see if i've done that in the past okay i haven't done that but we need to add this from django dot country import messages and then we need to configure a way that will make the settings to actually know when to use or what class to use for error messages because by default the django messages doesn't know how to handle error based on the fact that we are using bootstrap so you need to tell it how to do this and it's quite simple scroll all the way to the bottom anywhere you want to do it and this is the code messages.tags then open up a dictionary and say hey the messages or error should use the danger class instead that's just what that means all right so you refresh this page and server is down let's see yep server is down rerun server very good 
uh, let's see <laughs> refresh the page there you go so add a coupon that doesn't exist click on this see coupon does not exist now let's add a coupon that that does exist i don't have any coupon yet let me go ahead and add one so vendor should be destiny coupon should be desk fix and discounts let's say i want to give them 10 percent off then save this then i will go ahead and apply the discounts coupon let's just see what we have so desk fix apply see coupon activated very good can you now see over here that we have discounts as 120 usd so we give them 10 percent off and over here we can now see desk fix applied and we updated the total now how about try applying this desk fix again to malicious maliciously gain more coupons what do you think is going to happen see coupon already activated very good our coupon system is working perfectly well as expected and i believe that is it if there is something that i've missed out i'll keep fixing any bug in the future episodes as soon as i notice them but for now that's gonna be it check out the links in the description below one of them should come in handy and also the courses there should actually help you become a better python and django developer and also i want you to hop over to deskfix.io and drop your email so that as soon as we launch the platform that should help us become better programmers you'll be the first in line to actually get a notification for you know testing it and actually becoming one of the first users of the application so yeah that's gonna be it i hope to see you guys in the next video where we will get started working with let's say payments we're using paypal or stripe so that's it i hope to see you in the next one and until the next video mad love peace out